Hey YouTube, I got a pretty good one for you. Figured I'd share it. Uh, I figured I'd do, I'd do one more trailer here before I went home for the evening. This trailer inspection results were no lights. Uh, the breakaway switch was loose and floppy, and um, the battery was dead, which is one of these nice little self-contained units. But as you can see, the light shows it being dead. So we'll put a new battery in there, that's pretty simple. But the no lights issue, what I found was pretty neat. So I typically start out by pulling the body off of the plug if I can, if it's not a molded plug. And then I back probe from the vehicle plug with the trailer plugged in. So in this case, the brown wire is running lights. So I stick my test light on there let me rotate this thing so you can see the screen. Okay. I get power, right? I get power coming from the truck to the trailer for the lighting circuit. But I got no lights. So, just for fun, I stick my test light to a, a decent ground on the trailer, a clean metal surface. What do I have? I got power. So right now, the entire metal structure of this trailer is energized with 12 volts. You know why? Because it's got nowhere to go. It's got no ground in this plug. Either there's a bad connection back in the wiring harness somewhere, or there's no ground from the plug to the truck. Um, so, in order to verify that, I took my trusty retractable test leads and I clipped one on that clean metal grounding surface. And I take the other one and I clip it to my trailer hitch. See that little spark? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's a little spark. And then there's lights on the trailer. Lights all around. All the lights work. Rears, rear ID bar, rear tail lights, fender lights, they all work. So, diagnosis is a bad ground on the trailer or the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and find that. Um, if it's pretty interesting, I might shoot a quick video of it. If not, I'm just gonna repair it and send this thing on its way. Uh, but before I do, I gotta put a battery in it and uh, change this breakaway bracket, and it'll be good to go. So thanks for watching, and remember that bad grounds will give you some very confusing symptoms and will lead you in many directions. So start off simple. And. Uh, and start at the source and work your way back through the circuit. So, have a good one. Okay, so this Maxim trailer that had a bad ground issue, what that ended up being was the last time somebody replaced the trailer plug, they um, installed the ground wire, which happens to be black on this trailer, on the battery positive for the battery charging wire so just on a whim um, I swapped those two I had a feeling that red wasn't supposed to be ground although trailers are very difficult nobody seems to use the same color scheme so um, every time you think you got it down you second guess yourself or you you run into an issue so I put the red one on first onto the battery positive feed from the truck. And I left the uh, black wire loose. I plugged the plug into the receptacle and then I touched the black one to the ground terminal and the lights came on. So I've since uh, reconnected those wires the way they should be and uh, everything should be good. I also put a new breakaway switch on and uh, Replace the battery. Got a nice new battery in there. And now the light shows green. So I did test the breakaway 
it does work all four wheels lock um, and all the lights are working so I didn't mess anything up when I was in working on the plug so this trailer is going to be uh, heading out so I figured I'd let you know what that ground issue was thanks for watching